Hey everybody, this is Jackie from reusablemenstrualcups.com and joining me is Tracy, who is a lover of all things eco-friendly period products. Hey everyone, so uh, we previously did uh, an unboxing video of the Schoon Cup, so there's the package. And <laughs> <laughs> try not to block you out. Here's the cup. <laughs> Here's the cup, and then here is the packaging. So uh, Jackie tried uh, this out for the last uh, two cycles, and yep. can you tell me about your experience? I love it. I feel like <laughs> even though I have all the menstrual cups basically at my disposal, because the companies send me them for free quite often, and I bought a few of them also, um, I am a super devoted fan of the Schoon Cup. And the second I put it in, it just felt good. It felt good inside me, it wasn't uncomfortable, and I somehow just was able to insert it super easily so that it didn't leak even from the first time. So That's good. is it yeah. uh, what softness is it? Is it quite soft yeah. comparatively? Yeah, it's one of the softest menstrual cups. So something like the Diva Cup uh, is considered to be a firm menstrual cup. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, an average firmness menstrual cup. And then something like maybe the Yuki Cup or the Maluna Sport is the firmest menstrual cup. Well, the Schoon Cup, along with like the Zoflo and Super Jenny, are considered to be soft menstrual cups. So mm. I used the Diva Cup for a number of years, but I found that it gave me cramps, actually. And I just was eventually gave up on it. So I was so happy to try out a softer menstrual cup and found that it worked. So What's the capacity on this one? I think the capacity of this one is a little bit less than the Diva Cup. I think it's 23 mils for the small size and then... Mm -hmm. Uh, let me just look. Oh yeah, the 23 mils for the small size and then 30 mils, which is the same as the Diva Cup for the large size. So this one is the small. I've never given birth vaginally. So uh, yeah, small menstrual cups just work better for okay. me. And how did you find the tail on that one? How the stem? Uh, the stem, I kind of loved it. So as you can, can you see that? Yeah, there's a few ridges on the stem there. So uh, you know, the Diva Cup has that like flat kind of stem or it's not like really flat, but it's just like it's round. It's firm. It's firm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's quite slippery is one thing I don't love about it. So like when you try to pull on the Diva Cup stem yeah. or some other cups, it's quite difficult because things are wet and you know, like it's not easy. <laughs> Where this thing, I found it actually super easy to remove. I just like pulled it and grabbed it and yeah, and it wasn't irritating as well. So I was able to wear this one lower in my vaginal canal. With the Diva Cup, I had to like put it higher up in there just because the stem was quite stiff and uncomfortable. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this one, I think that's kind of why it didn't leak that much, actually, because the stem was more comfortable and I was able to like keep it lower in there. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. All right. So if you want to see the full Schoon Cup review, uh, be sure to check out my website. I'll just put the link in the description and also just in your top right corner there. So take a look. Uh, hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below. All right. Well, thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll catch you later.